This is the STB emulator version 2.10.4 released in mid July 2023. The user interface is little different and this video is about setting up a profile in this version. This is the screen we see when the app is opened up for the first time. Select configure application at the bottom left and open it. This opens up the main settings page. Sometimes the app may open up with a blue screen to configure IPTV portal. In this case, hold down OK center button on the remote to bring up the remote control keys on the screen. Select settings icon, then select top left key, which opens up main application settings page. Now let us go through the profile creation process. Open add or modify STB profiles. The page opens up with a default new profile. Select and open it. After giving a name to profile, we need to fill in portal settings and STB configuration. Name, let us call it new TV and edit what is on screen. Go back and make sure that the entry is saved. Get the server address from your service provider. Open portal settings and open portal URL and keyboard will pop up. Remove or delete the default URL entry and enter the portal URL starting with the HTTP given by your service provider. Press OK to save the URL and confirm that the URL is saved. Hit return to get back to the previous screen and open STB configuration. Scroll down to MAC address and make a note of it. MAC address is the device ID needed for activation. Send the MAC address to your service provider for activation. On the same page, scroll down to device ID and open it and check top two boxes. Check top two boxes, use MAC based device ID and send device ID. With this profile creation is complete. Now hit the return key all the way to go back and see the blue screen. Keep the OK enter button pressed to bring up the on-screen remote keys. Select the profile created on the right and press OK. If all settings are right, portal URL or server will be connected and we will see the log on screen. Now the profile is activated and the server is connected and channel show up or interface screen opens up. TV is for live TV channels followed by video club which has all the movies, recordings of TV shows and any kind of recording is in the video club for all categories show above. Radio, if the service provides radio, it will be there. This you can ignore recording. Settings also you can ignore. And um, account shows up your account details, how long it is valid and all those things. The color dots at the bottom of the screen can be used for the function specified from the on-screen remote control keys. A quick recap on on-screen remote control buttons. On top, we have the settings and you can see on top of the screen what it specifies. This one is open current profile. In settings on the right is close application which is very important. At the end of a viewing session, I suggest you close the application so that it is not running in the background. Then you restart when you need. On the right on top, we have we see the profiles created. Then next to the media player selection, music and subtitles, mm, not much. And uh, at the bottom, we have aspect ratio. 
is also best left in auto. On the left we have the keyboard under the bottom, we have the color buttons for navigation, search etc. And also fast forward, rewind, playback control buttons. And on the left is extreme, the X means go back, not exit as shown. It's a back button. Thanks for watching. Do post your comments and questions. Look forward to more videos on IPTV software. Thank you.